What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, we're back with another edition of Mr. Trevor Roberts, and I am currently, oh my God, you're big, slipping up on a huge herd of big hogs eating acres. No feeder, all wild. We got cows right here. They're probably gonna mess this situation up, but I'm gonna get quiet and slip up here. Jesus, bucks are rutting, and this is what this guy wants to do is shoot a freaking hog. That was a heck of a shot, 49 yards. <laughs> I wrecked him, 49 yards. Video. <laughs> hey, all I gotta tell you people is I filmed this cat from about 80 yards away and all he's talked about, I gotta shoot a hog, I gotta shoot a hog. But the thing is, the bucks are in full rut and this is what we're out here doing. We can do this in the summertime and this 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 There's guy another one right there. Well let's go find a buck. My arrow's in this one, I gotta go get it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> That joker was running out of gas. They're going right there to that tree. They ain't going nowhere. Go kill that big one. Hold on, I'll go with you. I just gotta get this arrow. Look. Look right. Just drive by it. I know this is going fast for y'all. We're gonna drive by this one and then we're gonna go about another 80 yards and shoot another one. Mr. Trevor spends tons of money maintaining this ranch and these hogs destroy it. We're not hunting any feeders. These are hogs feeding on acorns. Look at that right there. There ain't going nowhere, they're eating acorns. Is it acorn or acorns? It's acorns. People up north say acorns. Acorns. <laughs> we say acorns. Y'all heard it here first. The wind's going this way. We gotta get over here. That cow don't like us. No, be all, right. They'll be fine. all right, now twenty bucks. Twenty bucks what? what you you don't bucks? drop it. Yeah, a, a thousand bucks. No, one. You gotta drink that whole beer. <laughs> I'll do that anyway. <laughs> Look at that little sweet one. I gotta buy a gift now. Gotta get suckling pig tacos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Mama's fixing to share some of these Y'all better not get too close. Look at the red one on that end. I'm making sure it's a kill now. Nope, that's a boar hog. Oh, there they go. Look at the red one's a gill. You sure? Yeah, the, the first red one in the pack is a gill. Now we gotta go back this way. That. Are you sure that? That's a bull hog. That red one's a, a gill. Well, we'll now we got them good because of the wind. Well, well, we'll just do, that one's gonna booger bob if we go that way. I can't believe them cows run them off. Well, I wouldn't want to mess with that mama either. Oh, there's another one. 
That's the boar hog. Oh yeah, he's he's a full fledged boar hog. Look at him run. All right, just let them do what they're gonna do. Oh, that red one is a good. And yeah. That little black one. Oh, the black one's fatter. Man, why are they running so hard? What's that? That's a boar hog. All right, well, the cow messed that up. We're gonna pull up here and load this hog up and go to the next one. Somewhere over there, we gotta go get that thing. Y'all see them right there? That's why you gotta kill some of these hogs because there's way too many of them and they destroy these pasture grounds. That's why you see in this video this cart sloshing back and forth. That ain't from cows mashing holes on the ground. That's from these hogs using their nose. And some people out there in Florida know it. Never mind. I'm, I better not say that. This is. <laughs> I don't even know where he was going, but obviously, going. obviously it was a uh, rated R. Yeah. How about that hog I just shot? That took a wreck. Well, I mean, it's about time. You, that's all we heard. The bucks are rutting, and we're out here wild boar hunting, and the bucks, I mean, bucks are physically running does down, and this guy goes, we're going to kill a hog to do with my bowl. <laughs> oh, Bo Winkle. Kelly's hunting right now, about 400 yards, 500 yards straight in there. How you lose my hog? It's out there somewhere. Just calm down. This is what you have to deal with in the YouTuber's world. Everything's fast and furious. There it is over there. Wow. I told See? you it was over there. No, you didn't. You said over here. I said over another there. Another hog going back that way. <laughs> like no. Hog's going back. There's sweet acorns under that tree. Mm -hmm. Sweet acorns. Just as sweet as this make a low ultra. <laughs> <laughs> if he that, eats underneath that tree, he's over. That's that red boar hog. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can't show you all this because it is rather bloody. I shot it right in the lungs. It's a beautiful one though. Here, let me show you a quick glance. We'll be back when we find the next herd. Oh, he finally hit one. Damn, looky here. It's not gonna make it. Oh, and it's down. Oh, it's down. We're back on the hunt, and there's hogs going everywhere. All he can think about is deer. I'm like, we got enough backstrap. We have enough backstrap. The thing is, we need hunting, pork. We're hunting big bucks, and this guy's looking for a hog. The bucks are running. Most people in the right mind right now are sitting in a tree stand going, man, I can't wait till a giant white tail walks by. Nope. Gabriella goes, we have got to go shoot some hogs today. We're going to shoot them in the bow and I'm going to videotape it. Go to bed. How retarded is this? Listen, listen. This next spot we're going to, y'all, we've man, been... You can actually probably film them as you're going to this next... This next spot we're going to is what I call the bar hole. That means it's a male hog. Oh, I thought I just saw... It's a male hog that at some point Trevor or somebody else is... Castrated. Cut his... You that's know what, he's all legal term. Castrated. castrated it. Castrated. We saw two yesterday. Oh my, but Jesus, they were big. And they might be up here. If they're not, I'll settle for anything that has swine in the sentence of what it is. I got one arrow left, and then we're going to go buck hunting. So. It'll be dark by then. It takes you like an hour to shoot something. Well, I have to show the folks ready. at home. Well, I gotta get on I, Y'all give me credit for that last gotta, shot. I've got to put my camera in the right place. Y'all give me credit for that last shot because I clipped the GoPro on the bow and never got off with that hog for y'all. Right there is the glory hole. Right <laughs> there. That's where I fell out of the tree stone and broke my ankle. Yeah, y'all see that? <laughs> That right there is called the mother load. The sweet acorns are dropping in there. Where did all go? They must have hit this They're in there. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Crackling. We're gonna make crackling. Crackling. Crackalacking. Your brain is crackling. Crackalacking. Where are they at? Look at them. Look at them in there. Shh, you can just scare them off there. 
blue game. You see them? They're probably in that creek. We don't see them, but they're somewhere in there right now. What do you see? Mm -hmm. A bush? Bush buck. Notorious bush buck. Yo, we're going swine busting right over here. We got two. If you, at if 70 you yards. want to be able to shoot them from your 70 yards, my butt. Oh my God. Y'all don't need to listen to him and his ranging ability because this is not 70 yards. This dog's like 40. Oh, don't move. Right at, right there on the bottom. The tree's fat oak tree. Oh my goodness, the mosquitoes are eating him. pigs and I couldn't do it. I could not make myself shoot that mama hog with all those babies. She had her some pigs. Hey, I was waiting for her to run you down and I was going to have the whole thing on film and I was going to laugh and let her eat you to death. <laughs> That's not even a friend. Yeah, that is a friend. Before I could kill the next hog it got dark y'all. In case you're wondering why I'm back at the house. Right there is the ham off the hog that I killed with my bow. All I did was debone it, which is pretty easy to do. If you've never done it, you literally let your knife do the work. Find the little creases, cut out each particular muscle, and then you got a deboned ham. Right here is a pumpkin that I took my Danko knife and I cut the guts out, cut the lid off, and I made a pumpkin bowl. But before I get started with what I'm about to do, I gotta give a huge shout out to Mr. Trevor Roberts, which is who you saw in this video with me. And he's such a gracious human being, has allowed me to do tons of awesome things that, out there at his ranch, him and Mr. Dubois, my buddy Mike Worley. Thanks, T-Rev, we love you. So I'm gonna cook something you guys have never seen me cook in this video. I'm gonna cook a chunk of the hog ham inside this pumpkin. First though, I gotta add some ingredients. In this bowl, I have brown sugar, garlic, butter, and honey. I've already obviously cooked the hog ham. I put just Lowry's garlic salt on it and I put it on the smoker for about an hour at 350 degrees. I'm going to take half of this mixture and I'm going to put it in a pumpkin just like so. This is where it's going to get messy because I want to get it all inside there on the edges. Then I'm going to take the chunk of hog ham and I'm going to shove it right inside the pumpkin. I'm going to take some onions, put it in top of there, just like so. And then I'm going to take the rest of the ingredients and pour it in. Put the lid on. You got to find where it goes though, right? Nope. 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 Right there. And I'm going to shake it all about. Just like so. 
Before I put this on the grill though, I want to give a huge shout out also to my son Jake, who killed his very first hog ever sitting in a tree stand by himself, which is a huge step for an 11 year old. I can still remember the first time my dad ever put me in the stand by myself. I was scared to death as it started to getting, you know, as it started to get dark. I didn't have a cell phone though. I made sure I left Jake with my cell phone. He ended up shooting a nice show. We picked him up, it got dark. Then we came back and cleaned his hog and my hog. As you can see, we're back in the kitchen. I wanna put this back on the smoker at 350 degrees for I don't know how long. This is the first time I've ever done it. So let's go put it on the grill. All right, there goes nothing. 350 degrees. Now, if you're wondering why I'm self-filming, my kids went to their mom's. Kelly's out, I think, at the gym or doing something. I needed to get this done because soon I got to jump on the next video, which is another fishing video with my brother and his daughter, Lauren, and we destroy the fish on my new boat, which is called Mad Chaos. And trust me, the next video, it lives up to its name once again. So when this is done, I'll see you right back here, which actually it'll be like right now. But can y'all smell it? You know that looks good, but I can't get it off the grill and hold the camera, so I'll see you inside. Now, the lid did sink in just a little bit. Look at that, though. Just falls apart. <laughs> oh my goodness man that's good look at that though let's just cut it open that is look at that look at that just right through it now this is a wild hog so obviously it's not going to be as tender as a store-bought, oh that's hot hog, but I don't think you're going to question me when I say that is fall apart, good. This is so intriguing to me, just how good it can be. Now I have seen several videos like this where I saw a woman on TikTok put a whole catfish in like a giant zucchini or something. I saw a guy on TikTok do this video and it looked good, so I had to try it. Now the pumpkin tastes amazing. It's got all the honey and the spices and the brown sugar, everything cooked in one. I've got some roasted corn on the cob. I've got a pumpkin pie from Publix. That's finger licking good. But y'all check out that backyard beef jerky. Can you see it? They're back in stock. They've got mild, they've got hot, they've got honey barbecue, they've got teriyaki, and this stuff is amazing. Check it out right there one more time. So before I end this, I gotta give a huge shout out to Wesley. This little boy is a fishing, hunting machine. Wesley, Mr. Roberts told me to tell you that the next time we're out at the ranch, you better be there to kill some of these big hogs with us. Jake and Luke, I love you. Mr. Trevor, I love you to death. Kelly will be home soon. I'm going to eat the rest of this food, save her a little bit, because I'm sure she's going to be hungry when she gets back from the gym. Right now, though, it's time to get to editing. And like Jake always says, let's get the heck out of shape. See y'all.